Shatman Comic Book fans, happy Tuesday. Geeky Guy Comics here from the Kill Art Comic Show. Now, if you're a new viewer, thanks for checking out the channel. We got you covered. And if you are a returning viewer, you know we've got some awesome content for you. So, welcome back. Today, yet again, it is another five minute review, but this time we are diving into the wild and twisted world of Mark Miller's. Nemesis Reloaded. So if you're a fan of gritty action-packed stories with a dark twist, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. Let's have a look. So, Nemesis Reloaded is a reimagining of Mark Miller's earlier work, Nemesis. But don't be fooled, people, please don't. This isn't just a simple retread. Miller takes the core concept of a villainous mastermind and cranks it way up to one million, delivering a story that's even more intense, violent, and thought-provoking than its predecessor. Fuck me, this is bad stuff. Right off the bat, let's talk about the artwork. The illustrations by Jules Jimenez are absolutely stunning. The action sequences are fluid, the character designs are sharp, and the attention to detail is incredible. Every single panel feels like it's about to burst off the page with energy. It's not just eye candy though that Jimenez knows how to convey emotion. He does this through his art and it really, really does elevate the storytelling on every single page. Miller's writing in Nemesis Reloaded is as sharp as ever. The dialogue is crisp, the pacing is relentless and the plot is full of twists and turns that keep you on the edge of your seat. What really stands out to me though is the character of Nemesis himself. He's not just your typical supervillain. He's a genius, strategist, a master of manipulation, and quite frankly, terrifyingly fucking brutal. Miller explores what happens when someone with unlimited resources and zero morale compass decides to take on the entire system and win. Now, fair warning, Nemesis, Nemesis, Nemesis Reloaded isn't for the faint-hearted. The violent is very graphical and the themes are extremely dark. But if you appreciate stories that push the boundaries and challenge conventional superhero troupes, this is a must read for you. Miller doesn't shy away from asking questions about power, justice and the nature of evil. One thing for me that I really appreciated was how Nemesis Reloaded manages to feel fresh and relevant despite being a reboot. Mark Miller has updated the themes to resonate with contemporary issues, making the story feel both timeless and timely. So should you pick up Nemesis Reloaded? Fuck yeah, it's brutal, thrilling. It's a ride of uh, Mark Miller's work and it is sublime. If you love a good anti-hero story, you will absolutely enjoy this. Just be ready for some seriously intense moments because this comic does not pull any punches. Nemesis is as charismatic as he is terrifying. However, if you prefer your superheroes with a bit more hope and optimism, this might not be the book for you. I did, however, give it a solid 9 out of 10. In the end, Nemesis is a brutal, fast-paced read that's bound to leave an impression. Whether that's a good or a bad one depends on how much you enjoy Miller's brand of storytelling. But one thing's for sure, it's definitely a comic that will get you talking. Now, guys, that's it for today's review. Have you read Nemesis Reloaded? What did you think of Mark Miller's twisted take on the superhero genre? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more comic reviews coming your way. And don't forget, you can check us out every single Thursday at 9 p.m. live over on the Killer Comic Show YouTube. We've got FOCs, we've got Killer Covers, we've got Indie Picks, we've got everything that you could ever want from a UK based comic review channel. Guys, it's been absolutely amazing. Until next time, keep reading, stay awesome, and read Nemesis. Have a good one.